Welcome back. This summer, let nature inspire your creativity. The founder of Art with Mrs. E, Caitlin Eddington, is here to walk us through some fun projects that will get you and your kids outside. And this is so great because the weather's been so nice. Yeah, no, do not even try to keep me inside or my kids. I say when the sun is out, we're, we're outside. outside. Yeah, I love and that. This is the perfect project for, um, you know, sometimes like parents need that quiet time, right? Yeah. For like mm -hmm. mid midday. So um, this is a project that we're going to do where we basically go on a nature walk first. So it's perfect for like, talk, like the whole family, literally. Um, I just always have my kids grab a little bucket and I have them go around and on our walks, find things that are interesting in different shapes. So, so let's talk about some of the things that you, yeah. you brought in and we'll work yeah, on our yeah, project. Sure, you sure. have this yarn wrapped wall hanging that you can easily do. Yeah, so I have like three different projects that, that are perfect for, again, like hunting and gathering, right? We're gathering all of our things. So this is perfect for, we're just basically gonna find like different sticks and you can do something called yarn bombing, which is a really fun trend. Basically you find a stick and then you have a multicolored piece of yarn and we just kind of roll it and it's great. You can have kids like yarn bomb the tree trunk in there, oh, in fun. their front yard. It's like a, you know, like a, a little installation piece. A little and then you can too, Yeah, exactly. Right? Cool. Super fun and the kids love it. It's great for OT. It's just like, again, that wrapping right. um, is great. And then you have the floral, floral sun snatchers. I sun catcher. Sun, yes, a sun catcher. So this is, I had like a, an embroidery hoop at my house, but I also use like a mason jar lid hanging over there. So anything oh, okay. that's kind of yeah. round. And you can use um, like contact paper. And I even just had, this is made out of packing tape. So we, again, we, we gathered like little petals that fell, leaves, and then you just kind of lay it on the sticky surface, and then make, seal it, and, and it's perfect. You Wonderful. can hang it in your window. Oh, so yeah. Cute. Okay, I'm gonna put right. the iPad down because we're sure. gonna get yeah. we're gonna get messy Walk here. Walk us through some of this. Here. Yes. So then the last project is this. I'm calling it like I guess like spray painted silhouettes. So we are using something called liquid watercolor, but you can make your own liquid watercolor at home. So for anybody who has all these dried out markers at their house, yep. right? You know we want to toss it. If you just stick a bunch of markers that are the same color in a jar and let them soak for a couple days. You get oh. these, so you can upcycle those watercolor or those markers. markers. That's great. Um, you can even stick it in a spray bottle and yeah, let does them. Does that soak. work for highlighters? I have a lot of dried out. Yes, highlighters. Yes, actually, it does. <laughs> okay, it really awesome. does. Or you could use food coloring and water. Mm -hmm. So again, we go on our nature walk with the kids, and basically, we want to find different leaves that are interesting in shape. Now, be careful of poison ivy and like oh, random. Well, you know, so just yeah. do a little like PSA. Here's what we're looking for. But then you're going to come back with your piece of paper and you're going to kind of lay them out any way that you want. So these are a couple examples just so you know kind of what we're going for. My, my mm -hmm. daughter and I made these. So you can find like ferns and you just kind of, they can go off the page. Um, we're just kind of arranging them in an interesting composition. So there's no paper over there. Oh, oh, here is my oh, yeah. paper. There we go. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mikey. So there's um, no rhyme or reason as to how you place these items. Yeah, the I, I do like to talk a little bit. I was talking to my four-year-old about this. I'm like, we're looking for negative space. Basically, you're looking to fill in the white space mm -hmm. with just interesting shapes. Um, so we kind of lay them all out. I did press these in a book before we came here, but you don't have to. It does help if it's flat-ish. Okay. So once we have our arrangement. You got yep. the whole forest on this yeah, table. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was, I was, again, I was like <laughs> gathering my things. So we're going to take our little spray bottles uh -huh. and basically you're just going to kind of give it a little spritz kind of all around. If they're, they're light, they might blow off, but Okay, so we can kind of do different colors. So this is red, I kind of put it in rainbow order. This is very calming it's, too. It is so relaxing. And again, we did this yesterday and my daughter was like, now let's do flowers. And we went, and it just was <laughs> so nice. And it just, it's, and also we did this outside. We laid it out in the grass. It's pretty, you know, it's not super messy. Again, just watch your hands a little bit. That red one is kind of being a pain. It's, I'm not gonna lie. It's tricky. <laughs> it's a little oh, there tricky. we go, I got it. There you go. Um, again, this is this is good for just like practicing. Like, so we, I also have like different spray bottles for my kiddos, so we can kind of do the whole thing. And then, how long do you have to wait for this to dry? It really doesn't. Yeah, not too long. And then the magic part is oh, so whenever Heather's ready. Yes. Okay. You know, I, lo I love a reveal. Okay. okay we're so just we're gonna go ahead and kind of lift off all of our the pieces. leaves. Ooh. And you're going to be left with that, again, that, that negative space. This is like creating a silhouette. And something that I, I like to do also, so we have this white space here, is you can even kind of do another layer here where let's say I want to add a couple more. And I'm just going to grab like, oh, I'm sorry, excuse my reach. Good. You can do another layer and you can even spritz on top of it again. And do oh, another layer. Yeah, oh, so there's Heather. even like even more kind of double layer layers it. underneath. Yeah. This is so fun. And so I relaxing. Think the ki it, it's like a multi-level thing. You need to Absolutely. kill an hour with the kids. Yes. Mm -hmm. and Gather and then do your project. Yeah, and you can, you can frame these or I also cut up a bunch and just made little like bookmarks. Oh, 
I need like, a bookmark. Yeah, That's you perfect. can use it for all kinds of things. It's really relaxing. Somehow I managed to get more paint on my fingers I than I did on the paper. <laughs> oh but my it's fine. We're, we're working at this. You know what? Thank you yeah, so much. Sure. And I love that we have your aprons on too. Thank you. You can find more of Caitlin's art lessons and guides online. We'll have a link on our website at katieka.com slash talkpittsburgh.